Hello YouTube, or should I say, how do y'all doing uh, YouTube? I am Pinstar, and this is Hard West. First impressions, first look. So, um, I've had, I've seen this game uh, quietly appear on Steam, and I kind of flew under the radar here. This is um, XCOM meets Desperado, a turn-based strategy Wild West game with uh, some supernatural flavor to it and some RPG elements as well. Once again, a genre mixture, and once again, a genre I don't normally touch on. Uh, Wild West is usually not a theme I go uh, go along with. Last Wild West game I played back in the day was uh, Wild Arms 3, and even that had a bunch of uh, tropes to it that turned the Wild West genre on its head. So, it is going to be an interesting romp here, and um, this is going to be a two-part series here. I want you guys to let me know if this is, uh, looks like something that might interest you in a full strategy and tactics series. Uh, bear in mind, this is my first playthrough of this, so this is not strategies or tactics. I might do something silly. In fact, I'm going to be I'm going to be do, doing a run through the tutorial here. So let's get started. Your journey on the Oregon Trail is halted by harsh realities of the West and dysentery. You find temporary solace in the gold trade, but bad times are just around the corner. Soon you'll be faced to make ch forced to make choices that will shape your destiny forever. All right, let's get started. Um, as far as our difficulty, well, I never really like to play on the easy modes. I mean, even when I'm learning the game, I don't like to play it on the easy modes because I don't want to develop bad habits. Uh, but I'm not going to take on the painful mode. Uh, either, because again, first playthrough and all that. And I'm not going to play with either of the uh, the extra flavoring agents here. So let's get started. The Old West was a hard place. The only thing in abundance was poverty and firearms. And Combine nooses. alcohol and hopelessness with greed, envy, lust, and pride. And death is often the result. Crude cabins stood alone in the wilderness, cut off from the outside world. It kind of looks like a church from uh, Rebuild People 3 without the steeple cut business. off. But isolated, they grew ignorant and superstitious. Some said the devil walked the earth. Said lost souls haunted and possessed the living, pushing them past the edge of sanity. It's giving me a Darkest Dungeon vibe, too. In this harsh and dangerous country... No one had it easy, including your family. You were six years old when you traveled the Oregon Trail. That's also probably when I played the Oregon Trail. Food was scarce, and your father, despite being a fine tracker and a crack shot, failed to find any game. It was as if every animal on the trail was spooked by some evil force. Or some idiot just murdered all the buffalo ahead of you. Everyone found a small village and tried to trade equipment for food. Wood for sheep. But this village was overrun by outlaws. Can you be an outlaw if there is no law? And decided to trade you and your father to white slavers. But he managed to break free, told you to hide, and set out to save her. All right, so we got ourselves a little prologue into this. So it looks like we're playing as our father here. They took mother away. Could father save her? Well, let's find out. Do you want to play the tutorial? We promise it is short and useful. Yeah, let's let's do this. Hard West is a turn-based uh, is turn-based. You start, okay? In this mission, your father must rescue your mother, who's kidnapped by the evil uh, men. Okay, you can only move within the range indicated. This is again very XCOM-y. You can see your range for one move, it looks like here, and then our range for two for a double move. But if you do a double move, you can't take an action. Uh, very x commie. And yes, so you can only move... Uh, so let's move up here. Aha! Cover is indicated by shield icons. Always stay in cover. There's half cover and full cover. Uh, full cover re uh, provides the best protection. You have detected an enemy. All characters marked with a red shield icons are enemies. Handy that. The enemy is out, out of cover, so your shot will be very effective. 
All right, let's shoot him. Shoot the target with your active weapon. Chance to hit. Oh, and I've already got him selected, I guess. And let's confirm. Well, bam! Shot through the heart, and I'm to blame. Sorry. Um, most action requires action points. Each character starts with two action points. Shooting typically uses up all remaining action points. When all your characters are out of action points, the enemy turn starts. Each character has a certain amount of luck. High luck protects from enemy shots, but when they miss, luck is depleted. So this, now this is an interesting resource. Luck as a resource, like not as an RNG cheese, but as an actual depleting resource. That's freaking awesome. Because normally I am not a fan of random J RNG in my games, especially my strategy games. But here, RNG as a depleting resource? Heck yeah. When enemies are in cover, bypass their protection by flanking them. Yay, tactics! I like tactics. Alright, we're behind this tree stump here that looks like half cover, and he's got no cover. So, we gonna shoot you in the face, buddy. Well, bam! And, um, oh, I guess we can, uh, reload. Don't want to be without our shots. Shadow spotting. In broad daylight, you can locate enemies by their shadows. You can even shoot them if you have an unobstructed line of fire. Some materials like cloth or foliage can be shot through. Oh, that's all. See here. We see you. We see you. We don't directly see you, but we see you. 60% chance to shoot this bastard right through this tent here. Oh, just because we see a shadow, I'll take that. Aw, oh, straight on in. Whee! And there goes some of our luck. Ooh, our luck's almost run out. You, you ran out of luck and are bound to be shot. You must take better cover. You can use objects in the environment to create more effective cover. I guess it's a manipulatable object. Run! Aha! It is better cover. Ooh, but that still wasn't quite good enough. The red bar shows your hit points. When hit, your luck is uh, partially replenished. Well, that's good to know. Uh, what do we got? Eight hit points, and we got shot for one. Not bad. Glad his weapon is a pea shooter. You have several abilities at your disposal. Some abilities require luck. What do we got here? Fanning. Dakota fanning? No. Fires three shots with a 20% aim penalty, but it's three chances to hit. So let's fan the uh, let's fan our gun, see if we can't take this bastard out. Well bam! Eh, two out of three ain't bad. That's it for the tutorial. You're on your own now. Alright, let's take a look, see if there's anybody else here. Let's run up here to full cover. Alright, and let's run over here. Don't think there's anybody else in here. She was nowhere to be found. He saw the box. What was in it? Well, it's the what's in the box. The box contained a head. Your mother's head. E. Afterwards, your father found one of the gunmen still alive. The dying man rambled on about some unholy obligation, about promises made by the devil himself, and the rewards they would find in hell. I don't think they know how hell works. Alright, mission complete! And end of our first video today. But we're gonna do one more one more mission afterwards. Uh, this one probably with a bit more substance to it.
So if you like this episode and you want to see more, uh, and if you want to see me do a, a strategy and tactics on this series later on, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.